Tom in Greenfield, welcome. Good morning, Vicki. I'm a retired police officer on a disability. I was injured on the line of duty. And I want, there's a lot of police officers from many areas of the state going to Madison to help, and they're being handcuffed by the Madison Police Department and the Dane County Sheriff's Department. I want how do you mean? How, how do you how do you mean, my friend? And and first off, before before, uh, I, and and I because what I'm going to say about police today, I don't want to leave the impression I do not respect police because I I do. I mean, for the most part, I just I I, tr- I have tremendous respect for you guys. So thank you, Tom. But what do you mean handcuffed by Madison and Dane County? Because coming from a police officer, this might make some sense to people. Well, I, I think because of the general liberal policies in Dane County and the surrounding areas there, uh, these guys aren't acting as police officers. They're acting as union activists. And I want those coppers to think back to the day that they got that job, not just took the exams and started as a police officer, but the day they got that badge, and they put that badge on their chest, you guys remember why you got that job. You remember how proud you were when you put that badge on. And then you remember every day you get in that squad car and it says to protect and serve. That doesn't mean to protect and serve some scumbag union activist that isn't even a citizen of the state. You guys took an oath to defend the Constitution of the state of Wisconsin and the United States of America. You guys put that uniform on every day. You represent everybody, all your constituents, not just your union. I, I, Vicki, I was a union member. We belonged to the Teamsters Union. I remember the Teamster rep coming in when we had our 25-man police union, and we, I had to sit there and swallow this crap. And before I was a police officer, I I was a machinist, and I worked in industry, and I had to become a member of the the, uh, uh, the steelworkers union. And it's the same thing, having to go on strike and and listen to this union garbage. Those people aren't representing you. They're they're representing their own self-interest, and you have got a duty to go out there and protect that building and protect the lawmakers of this state. That's your sworn duty. You're not a union representative or a union member. You're a police officer. Go out and do your job and be proud. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. I wish I had an applause uh, sound effect for you. Thank you, Tom. Thank you for your service, Tom, as a police officer, and and for that. Thank you. You got you, you've just reaffirmed my faith in the police. Thank you. That I needed that. I really desperately needed that.